Okay. Um, I did decide to uh, show you how I do this with this particular insect. So uh, we take the spider and we float it onto a slide like this. Carefully remove it from the water. There we go. And then, as I had mentioned before, you can arrange the limbs to look presentable. Here we go. Here's a leg under here that's folded. We'll move this out like that. Good. That looks pretty good. That's kind of what I was getting at here. If you notice, you might be able to see it, the black things on the top there. These are actually its eyeballs. And then, of course, we have those horrible looking fangs. I, I can see them showing up right there. You can take the point of the syringe, the point of the needle, the bevel just to move the uh, move it. There we go. There they are. Oh, they look horrible. Yes, spiders. Fascinating creatures. So, here we have a nicely prepared, let's say, arranged insect. So I'm going to take some paper shims, like I had mentioned before, that are two tenths of a millimeter thick. Now since the spider is a little on the large size, it's probably a good idea to put two on either end. I wet them before I uh, put them on the slide so that that way they stay put better. A little final preparation there. I see that looks pretty good. It's nicely arranged, or sufficiently well arranged. Then I'll take the second slide, place it on top. Now you see a lot of that goo squeezing out, right? I'm going to show you how we take care of that before we do any more. Then I grab the grab the two together, the two slide two slides together, and I'm going to put a clamp on either end. Now that's a large that's a large spider for a standard slide, but it's good enough. Okay, now if you notice, when I squeezed it, when I put the clamps on the end, a lot more of the brown goo came out. But also, if you notice, if you look very carefully here at the mouth parts, you see, the, see these jaws here? That's what the spider bites the fly with and injects the venom. Now, this would look really good under a microscope, these, these mouth parts right here. And of course, the ends of the legs you can see little combs they have comb like feet where they can manipulate or move around in their webs they're fascinating creatures this is what's so great about microscopy you can see all these features now if you notice the brown material 
that's between the slide. If I dip it in the water like this, take a syringe, my pipette there, and I can kind of flush it out. There we go. Flush it out with clear. There we go. That's if you notice it's getting getting it. There we go. It's coming out. You see that? So yeah. That's there. And now we'll go around on the other side. This is gonna be a good one actually. I'm glad I did this. Because they, the the mouth parts show very well. Now Ah yes, got that. That's good. Now we try to get rid of the bubbles, but eventually the bubbles come out. Uh, I have another video on dealing with bubbles. Now, what I don't like about this is how the feet have extended, be the legs have extended beyond. So I'm going to try and push them in a little bit like that. Because once you start dehydrating them, the alcohol makes the tissues a little on the hard side. So you want to make sure... Okay, you want to make sure, see how that goes? I'm going to leave that because I don't want to take up too much time showing, but that's going to be a good slide. So I'll take that now, and I'll take the 70% alcohol. Put it in there. That one actually turned out better than I expected. Usually, when you're showing somebody something, it never works out quite that well. So I'm going to leave it in there for 24 hours and then move it to the 90 and then to the 100. So, and of course, you can see inside the um, dish here with the water. That disgusting brown stuff there. That's why I wear finger cots. I do not want to get that on my fingers. That's that's the digested parts of a, some insect that the spider ate. So we'll move on to the next video now. Thank you.